Welcome to another edition of Chilling, Odd, and Mysterious Artifacts. Today we bring you the story of a drawing. How is a drawing chilling, odd, and mysterious? Oh, this one's interactive? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fun. All right, so what am I drawing? A dead person. Oh, the drawing is a death drawing. That's something different. So this is the death portrait of James William Dedrick. Now, sadly, he was about three years old when he passed away. He lived from 1882 to 1885. And death was a very common part of life um, in the 1800s in the Victorian era. You didn't have the modern medicine we have today. And unfortunately, a lot of children died um, because of that lack of you know, medical treatment that we have today. Now, little James here, he did not die from a disease. He actually died from an accident. Uh, the oral history of the Dederick family um, says that he died from an accident that took place in the Old Jonesboro Cemetery or Rocky Hill Cemetery on the top of the hill. Now his family lived in the house, the wood frame house right next to the cemetery. Uh, he was the only son of Alfred Shipley and Carter Luster Dederick. They had several daughters and James and his sisters liked to play in the cemetery because it was their backyard. And the story goes that one day they were playing in the cemetery and either he pulled on a loose tombstone or one of his sisters pushed it, but a marker fell on him and that's a lot of weight on a very small child. And unfortunately it, it crushed him and he died from his injuries. Um, this portrait was drawn. This is him in his casket, we believe. Of course he's in his black, um, his burial outfit. The eyes are drawn open, as was the custom with death portraiture. Uh, some semblance of, you know, the life that was lost of being alive. Um, we don't know where his injuries were sustained, so maybe he didn't sustain any injuries to the face or head, or maybe if he did, they just chose not to draw those. But, you know, photography, there was photography, but a lot of people would only have one photo made in their life, or maybe no photos made in their life in the late 1800s. So this was a way to remember those who had passed on. It was like the last memory of them um, before they were interred in the ground. Um, this is something the family could keep. Usually these skills were learned by the ladies in the family. Uh, ladies, part of what they were expected to learn was of course art and drawing. And part of that was maybe you'd be called upon to do death portraiture for someone in the family who passed away. Another way of doing this was photography. Sometimes you'll see like death photos where the family would gather with the person who passed away before they were buried and pose with them and take a picture that way. Um, but in this case, it's not a photo of James we have, it's an actual death drawing of him before he was buried. And he is buried up there in the old Jonesboro Cemetery um, in the Dederick family plot. So it's a sad story, but it's a really interesting artifact and a look at mourning customs from the Victorian era. And this was a whole par part of that memento mori movement, um, which was how do we remember those who passed on? Is it a hair wreath? Is it a piece of their hair in a bracelet? Um, is it a photo or is it a death drawing? <laughs>